How to create a mailing list of hungry buyers for your product or services for free. Now, if you have a product that you want to sell and you wish you had a mailing list of people that are ready to buy your product, this video is totally for you because I'm going to share with you how I was able to build a mailing list of more than 100,000 subscribers totally for free using this method. So the first step, the first thing that you want to do is to create a lead magnet. You may have heard that before a lead magnet is something that you can give to people in exchange of their email address. And this is key because it's going to give them a reason to subscribe to their mailing list. But that's pretty basic. Everybody talk about a lead magnet, so don't be, don't worry. I will share with you the real source <laughs> just later on. Now, creating a lead magnet, what you want to do is inside of your lead magnet, it should pre-sell what you want to sell because there's this thing called pre-suasion. It's a, it's a book by uh, Robert Cialdini. Pre-suasion is like what's before the persuasion, right? It's how to frame yourself, your offer, to make sure that once people know about your offer, they already want to buy it even before they know what it is. And so you want to create some perceived value around your offer. You want to show, show some social proof, show some before and after result of your customers within your lead magnet so within the thing that you offer for free and you want to inspire them you want to show them that they can have the result that they want you want to show them that people like them had the result that they wanted by buying your product so for example uh, if you create a lead magnet let's say you want to help people lose weight and you create a small free course or a ebook a pdf ebook that show like how to lose weight in this ebook you want to inspire them you want to give them example of transformation of people that have been there done that and got the result that they wanted you want to show them testimonials you want to um, make them visualize how they're going to feel once they solve that problem and basically pre-sell them and yeah pre-sell them that's pretty much the term now once that's done, you want to create content to promote your lead magnet. But there's a specific way to do it. Don't just like create random content or don't just like dance on TikTok to get leads, right? It's not about the amount of lead, it's really about the quality and how to make sure your leads are from good quality, right? If you create content based around keywords, search terms that talk specifically about the problem that you're product or services solved, then it will bring to you the right uh, type of people. For example, let's get back to our weight loss niche, right? We have these online courses that help people lose weight. Now, if you create a YouTube video about how to lose weight, uh, how to lose weight without going to the gym, someone type on Google how to lose weight going without going to the gym and they find your video and they get your lead magnet. What does this mean? If they type on Google how to lose weight without going to the gym, it means that they are qualified. It means that they know that they have a problem. It means that they want to solve your, their problem. And it means that know that they have watched your video. It means that they already know that you have a solution to their problem. So that's like really warm kind of lead, right? It's better that if you just make a dance on TikTok and someone subscribe to, <laughs> to your TikTok profile. So. That's why keyword search are really uh, important because people are already in the, um, in the mindset of solving their problem. And so they are those hungry buyers. They're like, they're trying to solve their problem by doing some YouTube uh, research or, or research on, on Google. So create content based, uh, the focus is a bit off. Okay, we're back. Create content based around keywords about search terms that are around problems. So that will bring you the right kind of people. Now, once you create those content, you want to send people from the piece of content to your mailing list. So you need to have a call to action. People will not do it if you don't say. So at the end of each video, you want to say something like, if you want to know more, I created a free course, a free training, a free ebook that you can get for free. The link is in my description. And so you send people from your content, your free content to your free lead magnet. This way you will have a better conversion rate and you will increase the amount of people that will subscribe to your mailing list. Now, what you can do, right, is you can sell your lead magnet. That's an option. It's, it's more like a, bon a bonus. It's something that can work. You can sell your lead magnet for $1. And what that will do is you will have less people subscribing, but the amount of people that will subscribe 
will be uh, of a higher quality. So if you sell your lead magnet for one, one dollar, what does that mean is that there's a difference between people that want free stuff and paid stuff. It, because one dollar is like free, but people have to get their credit card or they have to trust you, right? And if they buy something from you for one dollar, they will more easily buy the whole product afterwards because they already trust you, they already placed an order on your website and so they kind of know how is it going to be and if you deliver a good value in your one dollar free course uh, I mean they will be more likely to buy uh, later and that's also something that can work with paid ads if you want to you know make some money back while running paid ads you can charge like one two dollar three dollars maybe and this will greatly uh, you know make sure that you have people because the best way I mean I'm kind of losing myself here but the best way to know if someone is going to buy a product is by looking in the past like what other product have they bought if they just bought a weight course a weight loss course it's really likely that they will buy another one whereas if they've never bought a course before it's is more like unlikely so it's easier to sell to people that are already buying stuff than people that have never bought stuff in the same niche now send people from your content to ads you can also do like retargeting ads from your youtube channel or from your other social media presence what you can do right for example on youtube you can create an audience of people that have viewed your content and you can send people from your content to sorry the, the focus is a bit out okay you can do retargeting uh, on your views of youtube and send people from your youtube channel to your to your lead magnet. You can also do that on TikTok. You can run ads on people that have viewed your video. And this way you can get leads uh, for quite cheap. This is not for free, but it's a bonus that you can do because the, the people that already view your content will be more likely to subscribe to your mailing list. But the main thing for me, like what I did in my, in my business, the first one I started in music production uh, in 2016 and so I created 500 YouTube videos and uh, this got me like around 100,000 leads on uh, my mailing list simply because in each videos that I was making all of these videos were based on keywords that people were looking for online like it was in the music uh, production niche so people were looking at how to make a melody how to mix and master my music how to uh, structure my beats or to create my own uh, s sounds right and every time someone would watch this video I would say something like oh if you want to get my free sound pack you can download it the link is in my description they will opt in and I would get their email and then they would get an email follow-up now in the end after creating all of these videos you know it kind of compound you get more and more views more and more leads and that way I was able to get up to 100 leads for free per day so that's pretty much it and this strategy you can also use it if you're selling like services whether you're selling online courses products services you can also use it for physical product if you're selling products like on shopify and stuff like that you can have let's say you're selling a i don't know a weight loss product you can have like a free weight loss guide that can you know get you leads from uh, people that come to your website for free so that's pretty much it in this video i just wanted to show you like the best way to get a leads a list of hungry buyers for me is to create content around problems keywords around problems because those people already want to solve their problem and so they are quote unquote hungry buyers now if you want to start your online business and start making money online and grow your business i created a free course showing you exactly step by step what is the best business that you can start and also how to get started and start making some money to become financially free the link is in bio is in description below this video so you can click and get that for free you just have to put your email and i will send you that for free that's it for this video i will see you in the next one bye bye